all the time and they'll talk about various things. But I'm just curious because you've talked with so many successful business owners uh, over this swath of time. What is there a trend that sticks out? So I would say, excuse me, two come to mind right now. So okay. one, education and then two, resources. So yeah. and they kind of go hand in hand to me. So more so when I say education, I think of that. I've talked to a host of different people, both in WeWork, both outside of WeWork before I moved down here, everything, who just felt like, you know, they, they didn't know everything that they needed to, to be in their industry. They didn't really know where to go. They spent countless hours on, as we call it, YouTube University or Google.com and just different things like that, really trying to find here and there and almost ultimately always coming back to like what they felt was a dead end or just a lot of information overload and not really knowing what to pick and choose and how to relate to that. And I also feel like, you know, a lot of times, and this kind of segues into the resources part, things are right in front of us. Things are right around us. Things are made available to us from funding to people who just want it, students, interns, help, different things like that. And sometimes we don't necessarily know where to go to get that information, how to get it, where, who to get it from, who to talk to. And that's why I feel like the power of networking is so important. Sometimes for me, I've met so many people and we were here just from having a simple conversation, just from asking, you know, did you need anything or how are you or what's going on? Or maybe staying late one day to help with an event or maybe just asking a question or maybe seeing a, a company that I had never heard of. And when they get some free time, Hey, what do y'all do? Or how does that relate to, you know, or so-and-so or this and that. And, and sometimes really it's just about talking to people. So I think that, you know, I've, I've talked to a host of different people who feel like if they would have known this sooner, or if they would have did this, or if they would have went that, or maybe asked the right questions, or maybe talked to this person one way, or maybe kept a connection that they feel like they would be much further on. And I've talked to a host of people who feel like, you know, they're just at a loss. They don't really know where to start. If I had this, if I if I had more people on my team, I would be doing bigger and better things. Well, I tell myself that the same thing. You know, I'm a one man show. But the fact that I have skills, you know, I, I went to grad school to learn how to video. edit. I got certified in Adobe Premiere Pro. I learned how to use Photoshop and just different things like that because I recognize that, OK, I can't necessarily find the staff right now. I can't necessarily find people who I need. But that's not to say that the resources aren't out there for me to help with that. So I would say a lot of the trends are people just more so not knowing where to go where to start it being so much out there. A lot of these industries from the clothing to the makeup to the hair, they're so populated, they're so populous that when you look at somebody's success story, you can't really tell how they maneuvered or what happened or what didn't go right or where did they go. It's so it's all about just that glitz, that glam, that the money, the happy clients and everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we really need to hear those nitty gritty stories of how you did what. And then a lot of times, especially in the minority community, we feel like it's very competitive. Instead of instead of collaborating, we rather compete. We rather think that oh, if I have a if I have a I'm gonna just use an example. If I have a clothing brand and he has a clothing brand, oh no, I have to I have to sell more than him. I have to be better than him. I have to do you know. Whereas you know, no, he has a great design over there. Maybe I should ask him where he got the, his vendor from. But let's just say I do take that step to ask him. Okay, where did he get that vendor from? Now he doesn't want to share because he feels like this vendor, although thousands of people use this vendor, he just feels like this is specific to you me. And if he doesn't know that, then I can't share it with him. So I feel like a lot of times we clash with one another just because we learn these secrets, we learn these tips, we learn these tricks, and then we want to compile it all together in an expensive workshop or an expensive webinar or general knowledge that you may have gotten from somebody else that, that you didn't have to pay for, that you didn't have to, you know, go through the ringer to get. Now you want to kind of gateway or gatekeep it in a sense. So I, I think that sometimes we're just in our own way, simply put. There's a lot of education out here. There's a host of different resources out there. There's even people in your field who you could look to. I listen to podcasts, maybe not as much as I should be, but I, I listen to them just to get views, just to get ideas, just to get motivation. And I think that we should just do that a lot more with within our industry, just become more, like I said, more collaborative instead of competitive.